So it's William Henry Harrison, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, Benjamin Harrison, who's the grandson of William Henry Harrison, William McKinley, William Howard Taft, and then Warren Hardy. So it's about the eight Ohio presidents, and it focuses a little bit on their lives um, and also pulls in some things about their wives. Um, William Henry Harrison was actually born in Virginia, but he lived here when he became president, which is why we claim him. And Benjamin Harrison was actually in Indiana when he became president, so he was born in Ohio. So either way you look at it, we can either say we have six or we have eight. The only other state that has eight is Virginia. The next closest ones are Massachusetts and New York with four. There's some things that everybody knows about the presidents, but then there's other things that they don't know. Five of them were in the Civil War. William Henry Harrison fought in the War of 1812. Um, William Henry Harrison was also the first president to die in office, so they had to figure out how to deal with a funeral. So one of my favorite kind of quirky things in this exhibit is in the segment that showcases William Henry Harrison's history, there is a pink and white teapot that was made in England to uh, help advertise his campaign for president. So before the time of like political buttons, there were teapots, there were cups, there were mugs. In this one you'll see etched in the glass is a little illustration of a log cabin and cider, like a barrel of cider. But what you'll also see are what look to be like volcanic formations of mountains and also like palm trees. So it's very clear that the person who created this teapot had never seen Ohio. It's interesting that the first like sort of like actual campaigning happened with William Henry Harrison, which was the first Ohio president, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. Something else that people will see are um, lanterns, and it's because during a lot of presidential campaigns, especially during the mid-1800s and late 1800s, you would see evening parades instead of what you would see today as like political rallies during the day. In this particular case, people carried lanterns with them to light their way as they campaigned for their favorite candidate. Ulysses S. Grant was the 18th President of the United States, and he served from 1869 to 1877. Ulysses S. Grant was born in Point Pleasant, Ohio. You can actually visit his birthplace and his boyhood home and schoolhouse, which is in Georgetown, Ohio, which is not very far from Point Pleasant. Rutherford B. Hayes was our 19th president, and he served from 1877 to 1881, right after Ulysses S. Grant. Rutherford B. Hayes and his wife started the first um, Easter egg roll on the White House lawn. The Hayes have really unusual presidential china because it was uh, designed by Mrs. Hayes and an artist, and it's completely different than anything you would ever see. So people will see an oyster plate that is quite unusual. James A. Garfield was our 20th president, and he served in 1881. And a lot of people know that James Garfield was shot while waiting for a train, uh, and he languished in bed for weeks with a gunshot wound. Um, it's said that air conditioning was invented during this time to make James Garfield more comfortable as he tried to get better from his fatal wound. Something interesting about Benjamin Harrison is that he was the first president to have electricity in the White House. Um, and it's said that he was really afraid of being electrocuted, so he didn't want to touch the switches at all. So he made other people turn the lights on for him. William McKinley was the first modern era president and also the last Civil War president. William McKinley was also assassinated. Um, it's said that our modern Secret Service comes out of the experiences that McKinley and also Garfield had by being assassinated in the public. William Howard Taft is our 27th president and he served from 1909 to 1913. I think it's interesting that um, William Howard Taft didn't really want to be president. His wife wanted him to be president. He always wanted to be a Supreme Court justice um, and actually turned it down at one point. Um, and he's the only president to serve as both a Supreme Court justice and a president. 
So Warren G. Harding is the most recent Ohio president. Um, he died while in office. He had a massive heart attack when he was in San Francisco. Um, so he's the last one that was from Ohio. It has been 100 years since we've had an Ohio president. And something that I always thought was really cool about Warren G. Harding was he had the first kind of presidential dog that became a celebrity. His name is Laddie Boy and he was an Airedale Terrier. And you would always find him by the side of the president and the first lady. Um, what was really cool was that he would even have Laddie Boy at cabinet meetings and he had his own special like wooden carved chair that he would sit in. Something that I really like about this exhibit is it demonstrates Ohio's connection to national history. Like, I always knew that Ohio was a pivotal state in elections. I never really stopped to think about the fact that we were also very major in deciding presidential campaigns for a hundred or so years. Um, I think that everybody should exercise their freedom to vote, and I think um, kind of seeing the history of the importance of elections is something that anybody can learn from.